For our special 100th episode, we'll be looking at a golf course that pushes the envelope for cheap, affordable golf. That is, Woodbrook Golf Club. With its picturesque backdrops, cliffside golf holes, beautiful putting surfaces, sand shots that are out of this world, and also great opportunities of fun, affordable golf to go spend your money elsewhere. And that's not that this course doesn't deserve to be more expensive. It's it deserves more publicity. And that's what this channel's here to do. Bringing you one of those hidden gems throughout Ireland where you might find a great deal and ask, is it worth it? Well, at Woodbrook Golf Club, built almost a hundred, over a hundred years ago. So let's stick it in and take a look now through the golf holes at Woodbrook Golf Club. The golf club was established in 1921 by Sir Standy Cockridge, and it was his private golf club. and was first affiliated with the Golfing Union of Ireland in 1926. The former putting green, now the chipping area, came into existence in 1932 through the creation of Herbert Philipson, and it was because it had a large tree in the middle which came to be known as the Philipson Flolly. And a lot of members at the time didn't realize that up to 1958. As for the existing clubhouse you're seeing today, well, that was built in 1958. And the clubhouse is constantly updating and changing like the George Martin room. But most importantly, the course achievements at this golf club. Headed to the back nine. Can't believe it. The signature hole's coming up. Just hang tight. We've got some more golf coming to you. Although the golf course is extremely flat, wind plays a significant role on majority of the holes depending on the direction and which hole you're on. Well, if you're on 12, 14, and 16 where you got the water playing a major factor, that crosswind from the east play would shoot down any ball up in the air. Now holes 10, 11, 12, arguably 13, and 14, just alongside that cliffside. It's just a beautiful aspect of golf for an affordable price, nonetheless. With its rich history and some of the aspect, like the cricket bell, you still locate it inside the clubhouse today, makes for an incredible golf experience like you're going back 100 years in time to a private golf club because it doesn't have that hustle and bustle of Dublin area, but yet it's just off of that train line, so there's no arguing. You can get down here and play. Of course, hosted the Irish Open in 1975, so it's on the map in regards to major events in Ireland. And also is a par 72, stretching 6,900. And 46 yards so it is a championship style course playing from those back tees in comparison to the other courses we've played so far and in meters 6,352 meters it's also hosted some other events like the Hennessy tournament in 1957 the Irish hospital tournament in 1958 and 62 the Carroll's International from 67 to 74 and then, obviously, the Irish Open, big one. And then the Irish PGA Championship, six times, 1977, 81, 82, 83, 90, and 91. And I will say, as they update some of these holes, as mentioned by the general manager when we had a chat, clear it's coming back to its heydays, and maybe even in the early 1920s with the private golf course type feel. It was hard to get out there, but accommodations were made. Wrist history, extremely amazing backdrops it made for a picturesque event experience and just fun time when visiting dublin it's important to note sir stanley crockett he was a famous cricket player his dad really made a fortune in inventing ginger ale wikipedia has this golf course listed as a private course but it's open to visitors just like a majority of other irish courses that are membership quote unquote only that being said there's some great information online in regards to rating this course already in regards to google a 4.5 out of 10 and there's 174 ratings. That's pretty good in regards to pub, uh, public or private golf courses. So 
that's that's a good rating off the bat. In regards to other golf outlets, Golf Now and Golf Pass have it over a 4.4 and a 4.5. Before we provide our 1 out of 10 rating, it's important to go over the green fees, membership, and other costs associated with playing. That is, on midday, it is only 45 euros to walk this course. Weekends, it reaches up to 50 euros. As a member, it's only 20 euros. In regards to membership fee at this course, they are taking on new members. It's unclear how much a membership is. It looks like it could be around 1,700 to 1,600 euros with an entry fee associated with that. But please reach out to the clubhouse for any information because it is constantly changing. And it's demanding as well. It's hard to get a tee time here for non-members and priority will go to members so we didn't finish 18 not a big deal got done 15 last hole almost hit someone hit one of these trees bounced it hard to the right figured I'm just gonna test my luck and get out of here can't go wrong for the free round of golf in Ireland based off of fans like you subscribing and making it seem like we got something going on here that's why it's so important to subscribe we'll be hitting all these types of golf courses around the world who knows